Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, January 29th, 2015, and this is episode 2512. Today we continue our focus on prayer, and specifically prayer in the life of David. My name is Bruce Turner, and I bring you greetings from our home here in the Hill City, Lynchburg, Virginia. And taking just a point of personal privilege, let me just share with you that I am an incredibly blessed man, having been married today 43 years to Susan Elizabeth. I love you, babe. One of the things that keep a marriage lasting is honesty um, confession when wrong seeking forgiveness and it's really the focus of a prayer of David that we look at today Psalm 51 most of you would be aware of what many would consider to be the most shameful moment in the life of David when he committed adul- adultery with Bathsheba and had her wife Uriah or her husband Uriah uh, put to death cost him the life of his son Psalm 51 has always been a comforting psalm to me because who among us have not needed forgiveness? Who among us have not blown it? Who needed desperately God's mercy in our lives? Psalm 51 Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness not according to my sorrow, not according to my anything that I have done, but according to His loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. And here's a verse that I pray every day. Verse 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God and renew a steadfast spirit within me. The prayer goes on. But David was an honest person when it came to owning responsibility for his sin. 1 John tells us if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But the Bible also says if we regard iniquity in our heart, the Lord will not hear. The Lord will not regard. The Lord will not pay attention to that prayer. My desire today is that we would be honest before God, that we would come boldly to His throne to find grace to help in time of need.
Watchman Nee said, Prayer is the acid test of the inner man's strength. A strong spirit is capable of praying much and praying with all perseverance until the answer comes. A weak one grows weary and faint-hearted in the maintenance of praying. It's an interesting thought, isn't it? The maintenance of praying. If you drive an automobile, you know that there's maintenance regularly that needs to be done, the changing of the oil, etc. And it's prayer. Prayer, especially prayers of confession, praying for forgiveness like we read this morning, that helps us to keep short accounts with God. It reminds me of the words of a song, Nothing Between My Soul and the Savior. Father, that is my desire to be clean before you, to be honest, to have nothing hidden that has not been brought into the light of your loving kindness and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website, morningmanna.com. There you'll find a player where you can listen to this and other archived episodes. You'll also find links to other places that Morning Manna is posted. You can follow me on Facebook. I'm Blue Ridge Bruce. On Twitter, Bruce S. Turner. If you search for me on YouTube, Bruce Turner, you'll find my YouTube channel there. All of these audio episodes are also posted as videos. Thanks for being a part of my day and letting me be a part of yours. As the music plays out, this would be a good time for you to take the trip in, as some say, and ask God, seek God for those things that you may need to ask His forgiveness for. Till tomorrow, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.